All right, and we're back. And I didn't... I don't think I got anywhere yet, but I went in pretty far, so... I have a feeling we're due for something. And, oh, damn, I was actually right. Oh yeah, this is that place! Where Cheryl got all scary and all hell broke loose. Norma, think before you speak. It's okay, Chloe. Yeah, if we keep walking on eggshells about it. Okay. Nothing will ever change. We have to face forward. The future lies ahead of us. You know, Bubbles, every now and then you actually manage to say something worthwhile. I wonder if that'll ever happen to you, Moses. Me? I'm always saying good stuff. Since when did dumb jokes qualify as good stuff? Enough with the brotherly squabbles, you two. <laughs> Not you two, Will. Don't say things like that. Honestly, if I'd known this was going to happen, I would never have said anything. You know, it's weird. Before we even had a chance to think about it, suddenly we were this tight-knit group. It's like we've known each other forever. Now that you mention it, that's true. It's not like we have any eh, particular reason to be together. <laughs> we don't need a reason. Families are supposed to stick together. Moses will use that excuse for anything if you let him. Come on, here we go. Well, that kind of carefree attitude is perfect for right now. Yes, it wouldn't be comfortable if we were uptight all the time. But you know, I was kidnapped by a certain someone, wasn't I? Well, you know what they say, all's well that ends well. There he goes, trying to joke his way out of it. You're not one to talk, Norma. Weren't you originally just trying to use us? Oh, that was so long ago, I forgot all about it. Water under the bridge and all that stuff. I live for the future. Now you're the one who's trying to joke their way out of it. What about you, Chloe? You thought I was a bandit. Uh... And Jay played his own little trick on me, too. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose I did. I had a rough time after that. The BBs got on my case and Will threw me in jail. You were like a wounded monster at the time. I couldn't let you roam free. Looking back on everything now, we all met under less than ideal circumstances. Indeed. But now they've all... But now they're all good memories, right? You know, I wouldn't say getting thrown in jail was exactly a good memory, but oh well. That's exactly why I don't want to lose them. I want to preserve our future. We all have to do our part to protect what we care about. That's why we're here. We're gonna bring back G-Girl no matter what. Yeah, you can count on it. Okay, so let's see. Well, this is a pretty straightforward place, actually. The enemies here, well... I mean, the enemies in general have become extremely easy once you get the extreme symbol, but... These enemies here are actually pretty easy in general. Which is nice. He has a 5 or 1 to grind. I know I keep saying I can grind, but I never do it. What are you up to? Bad dragon. Damn it. Come on! Garden time! 
me. Your poop game. I know I guarded in time. JJ, I sing, you dance. Oh, wait, wrong way. It's about to start heading back. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I'm... Uh... No, I think I am, right? Yeah, I'm going the right way. I don't know why. I thought I was... I thought I was back at the beginning of the dungeon all of a sudden. I was like... Uh, I was like, I don't think that can be right. I think we're at the end, though. Because nothing says you're at the end of a dungeon in the Tales game or just an RPG in general, like when you see the save point. Screw you guys. No! No! You little... Thank you. I hate it when things do that. Damn it, Chloe. Damn, man, look at this experience. It's pretty good for easy enemies. It seems to be the kind of, like, same group of enemies that appear here. Let's see, what are we fighting this time? Huh, okay. It, it's interesting to always see the enemy already there. Oh boy. Another monster with the black mist. I never thought we'd run into one here. Was Schwartz expecting us to come here? I highly doubt it's a coincidence. Come on, I hit X. Who cares? Either way, there's only one thing to do. Yeah, we've got to take care of that thing. Here it comes. And what do you look like now? This one looks strong. Oh, yeah. Go, go. This thing actually looks kind of intimidating. Damn it. Oh my god! Now I remember what was scary about you! Oh my god, and they're fucking stoned! Oh god, that's not good. Oh my. Go, go, go! Tennessee a bottle! Tennessee a bottle! No, not me, Norma! What? I was about to say, what the hell? Norma. On J. Baby, you hit hard. Let's stop you before you can actually do something. Jesus Christ, you hit hard. Oh my. Run back in, really? 
Oh, what's the worst that could happen if I run back in when I'm... Oh, run! Run! Jay! Hey, buddy. Life bottle, that bitch. Ow! Jesus! Jesus, that was... That hurt. That hurt. Oh, my God. My god, that was scary. That guy hit hard. I I wasn't expecting I knew he had a charge attack like a move where he could charge across the screen, but I didn't think his little charged punch there could hit multiple people and kill them in one shot. That was mmm <laughs> My god. That takes care of that. <clears throat> now tell Nerfus everything. Surely? Sure, hang on, you're gonna be okay. We're with you. No matter what happens, we'll take care of it. Not that any of us are counting on Moses' help. You shut up before I put a spear up your unseen parts. Oh my. <laughs> Surely has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, it was just funny. Their goofing around comes in handy sometimes. Okay, here goes. Uh-oh. It's still alive! Look out! Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, my neck. Surely? They're both in the wings of light. Nerfus heard you. It was very calm. Then we need to come up with a new name for it. It's not raging anymore. Yes, that's true. Okay, Nessie it is. Alright, let's go with the great Nerfus. This is just like last time. What do you mean, all right? Did you even hear what I said? The Great Nerfus. I like that. Yes, I think it fits Nerfus perfectly now. What was that earthquake? Could it be Schwartz? I'm worried about Groon. Let's head for the Wings of Light. Yeah, we're going to find Groon. Yay! Let's see. And... Okay, never mind. I thought this was going to... Uh, wait. Oh, that's right. It can, It's counted as a different screen up there. But, uh, damn, I was actually hoping this... Uh, I was actually hoping this was going to be like the last area where we get warped out. But, oh well. Oh my god, really, Holy Bottle? Oh. Actually, before anything, let's heal some of you guys. And there. Now the party is less susceptible to death. Oh my god, that... That McGon... Like, I thought Dark Vaklov was hitting a little hard. He just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no! No, really? Don't... 
Like, I'm aimed at that one, but let's just run through it anyways. Really? The stupid FOE field. Come on. Oh, now I know why Norma's not casting anything. I thought it was Jay and um, Chloe that got paralyzed. Or silenced? No, why do I... Let's see. Ah, those fields are obnoxious in this game. Should be something that activates only, like, you know... When you get hit by the enemy in the field or something, not just the moment you walk into it. That's the wrong way. Don't need anything else from these areas, and the only thing I can think of that I would need are some life bottles, but... I can easily buy those. I mean, I have plenty of money to buy anything in this game. I really don't know why it gives you so much money. Wow, that casted very quickly. Uh, screw it. You're staying dead, Chloe. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. You gonna come attack Jay? I'm not the waste. Spoils of war. Thingy, that was so cool. Uh. <laughs> Item. Actually, no. What am I doing? Resurrection. There we go. Jesus. And you know, Chloe, you can stay alive. I did set you to about half and half with your attack and defense. <sighs> it's so it's so much fun when your <clears throat> AI is just kind of hit and miss when it comes to intelligence. And in Tales games, it's really just some of your AIs are a lot smarter than the others. Chloe just happens to be one of the ones that, well, dies fairly frequently. Proceed. Yeah, okay, let's just leave this one. Well, at least they both got knocked down in time. Wait, I think I actually have an item that I can equip to make escapes go by faster. Wow, really? Already? Like, I could check it, but... You know, that'd be work. Uh... I really, I don't get why there isn't an option to fast track back to the beginning of a dungeon or have an item that can do that for you. It would this make the character quest dungeons a lot less obnoxious. Oh, I have to sneeze. What the? How'd I get me? I like that. I'm behind its tail, but it hit me. <sighs> really game.
We won! Now everything's starting to bite me in the ass. I was boasting too much about the extreme symbol and the Persian boots, and now everything's taking a shit on me. It's like, if you want to boast so much, we're gonna screw you over. No, but at least we're finally at... well, we're pretty much at the end. Oh my goodness, there we go. Only took a long time. I swear, half of the time in these episodes are pretty much eaten up just by running through the dungeons. To go to the Wings of Light, we're going to need to use the trail across the heavens. We'll have to go back to town first, then. Well, kind of expecting and aware of that. Oh boy, this is so much fun, trekking all over the place. Mmm, I don't... Well, let's see. I don't think anything happens when we get there. I think it's just more dialogue comes once we get to the Wings of Light. Of course, we just have to run all the way over there. Tales of Exilia and other, well, other RPGs in general have spoiled me with the ability to fast travel through areas. I do like that better, though. It makes backtracking a lot more, well, a lot less tedious. <coughs> I wonder if there's a save point. Well, I, I think there's a save point inside of here, right? Um, I don't know. Oh wait, no, I don't want to go down. I need to go up. Although I think you can take the tram, f the train from the lower level too, if I think. I mean, if I remember. Is there a save point? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, but whatever, let's see. We want to go to Wings of Light. All right, let's go get Groon. Is that it? Okay, I was about to say, that was a little redundant. Why would one with no memory come to this place? I must fight you. That much I remember. You will regret appearing before me in your half-awakened state. Oh, I won't regret it. I'm doing what I think is right. Such a pity, Groon. Even without your memory, you cannot change your path. Aren't you the same way? Words mean nothing. Let us begin. Oh my goodness, we need to hurry and save Groon. Oh, wait a second, is this... Oh, I think this is the super long endgame dungeon, isn't it? Uh, please don't tell me I have to go all the way in. I'm gonna cry. Oh, it is! Oh, I'm gonna cry. I hate this place. It's way too fucking long. It's way too long! It takes almost an hour, lit literally, it takes almost an hour just to get from this place to the end of the dungeon. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna record trekking through there unless they're like, you know parts where they're talking to each other, because this place just takes fucking forever to get through. I don't know why they made it so long, but I guess because, you know, oh, it's the end dungeon of the main game, so it's worth it. 
Uh, I'm not. I'm not a happy boy. But anyways, we're gonna end this. I was gonna say we're gonna end this dungeon off. We're gonna end this game off here for now, or this episode off here for now. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later when we come back to the super long, extremely obnoxious dungeon. Um, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. But anyways, let me go before I start whining some more. So I'll see you later, guys.